Are we really in a personal manufacturing revolution? It is a question that pops up often in my mind as companies flood the market with 3D printers, desktop CNC machines, and other maker devices. You would think the answer to that question is yes, we are. I don't think the answer is that simple. While we do have more maker options than ever before, newer products are increasingly more restrictive in one way or another. Little by little, we're moving towards a future where DRM, digital rights management, could force you to use only authorized materials with maker devices or worse, artificially limit the number of times you can use them before they are deemed unusable. That may seem far-fetched, but it's already here. Look at the streaming services or software you use. Most limit the number of devices you can use with them. It is coming to maker devices now. Examples of this are most Hay Gears resin printers and Eufy Make E1. Those companies will argue you will get the best print quality by using their materials with their products. That's the catch. Their products. More and more companies are developing products and services using DRM to facilitate their goal of removing end user ownership and forcing re-engagement, AKA reincurring revenue. Gone on the days of simply offering a high quality product that earns repeat business. You can see why so many people were in an uproar when Bamboo Labs closed down their printers in the name of security. To be fair, Bamboo's printers were never completely open. However, there is a fear that they and other companies are heading down a path where you're locked to using only authorized filament and materials. Let me be clear. I am a proponent of open source and repair rights. I am not opposed to companies making products for a profit though. I believe there should be a balance between both sides, consumer rights and a company's ability to earn revenue. One should not come at the expense of the other. You cannot convince me that a feature rich product that is easy to use can't also be repairable and allow its users to use any third party material. Yet most companies are pushing towards using DRM to increase their bottom line. What's surprising to me is the number of people I encounter that accept the various anti-consumer policies and lies from companies. Actually, they defend it. Tribalism at its worst. I've seen people defend Elegoo with their blatant false advertisement over the Centauri Carbon and its missing multicolor system. At the end of the day, no one wants to feel like they purchased the wrong product and companies use that against us. They know if they create a product that many people enjoy, they can slowly decrease ownership of said product over time and the same customers will accept or even defend the company over it. Again, these customers don't want to acknowledge that they may have purchased into the wrong product ecosystem. Ask yourself the original question again. Are we really in a personal manufacturing revolution period? Or rather, are we being painted an illusion that we can personally create what we want how we want with products that aren't personally owned by us. Wikipedia defines ownership as the following. Ownership is the state or fact of legal possession and control over property, which may be any asset, tangible or intangible. So before you hand over your hard earned money to buy a product, make sure you actually own it. As you soon may find out, you don't. I would love to hear your answer to the question. Post it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.